morning sunshines. I know I look like a bright ray myself. Um, I have a really bad cold, but I still wanted to film a day in the life for you guys. So I'm about to go um, get my day started. I'm not going to put any makeup on today because my eyes are bothering me from allergies and the cold, I guess. But like this eye just keeps going. So I'm just not going to mess with it. This is what I'm going to look like today. Uh, I do have a lot to do. I would like to switch my boys dressers like I talked about in one of my resets and um, I've already got my bedding in the wash I tried to point and it's not working my bedding's in the wash and uh, I drank some of my hot tea and my red truck mug I love this thing this is the perfect size like mug to drink out of I got this at Dollar General last year I think either Dollar General or Burke's Outlet if you don't have a Burke's it's kind of like a TJ Maxx it's awesome. But anyway, I'm still in my PJs. And I'm probably going to stay in them for a little while. Be comfy. Um, I need to start going through all of this. But I won't show you that today. I'm going to have a whole decluttering Christmas stuff video for you guys. Um, that should go up on Monday. Anyway, I also have... My oldest son is home from school. Still sick. He started getting sick on... Uh, last Wednesday. So, and then... He missed Thursday. School was canceled Friday and Monday. Um, and today is Wednesday. So school is back in session today. My two youngest ones went, but my oldest is still sick, so he's home. Uh, so I hope you guys are doing great, and I will stop talking now and get my day started for y'all. Y'all remember how I did a deep clean in my microwave? Well, one of the kids put a bowl of chili in here and exploded it, so I'm gonna have to clean this out again uh, shortly. I'm not gonna do that right now. I feel so drained. I'm just gonna eat my breakfast. I've made some butter and grits, and yeah. <laughs> Alright y'all, don't judge me, but all of that is clean laundry. I'm gonna um, be taking care of that as well in the reset. That won't be in today's video. But for now, I'm just focused on getting my bedding washed and dried so we can sleep on fresh bedding tonight and maybe not get sick from germs. It always feels so good to make the bed. And while I was making the bed, my husband got home with our Walmart pickup order, so I'm gonna show you. We got that. a big pack of this Mount Lightning for my husband. It's 24, and this was only like five dollars, which is amazing because when I want drinks, they're like eight dollars a box. So he likes the Mount Lightning. I got some sugar-free popsicles. We are sick in the house with like the flu and all that fun stuff, so sore throats, got some sugar-free ice pops. Got some of this low sodium VH juice for my chili. Um, three bananas. This is the only toilet paper that I can find. It's rapid dissolving, made for Arby's and boats, so we'll see how that goes. Some Chick-fil-A sauce, uh, two cans of cream of chicken soup. Some more of my mini brands country crop plant butter but the olive oil this is really good it actually lasted me for a while so i'll quit complaining about it but i wish i could find a bigger container of that uh, then i picked up some coolie for the kids i let them each pick a flavor um they picked blue raspberry lemonade lemonade grape cherry and orange and then i picked up this um velvet thin ribbon for some christmas decor it was 97 cents so i thought why not so we're all sick, so instead of worrying about disinfecting the toothbrushes, I just um, got these. They were six for a dollar. I needed some more of my Sensodyne toothpaste, and this is for 
the kiddos. It's Colgate um, kids. I think it's bubble fruit. Yeah, bubble fruit flavor. So hopefully they'll like that. Ooh. Some uncured turkey bacon. Uh, my Pepsi's. Got some more laundry, all free and clear uh, Mighty Packs. Some more dishwasher tabs. These Cascade Platinums. I really like this one. Got some more uh, Crystal Geyser water. A three pound um, roll of ground beef. Some chicken breast tenderloins. 18 eggs. Um, we've had a predator eat some of our chickens and now they're scared to lay eggs. So I have to buy eggs right now. And then a loaf of bread. Hello? Did you just let yourself in the back door? He just let himself in the back so door. This is the oldest son's dresser right now. This is the younger two. And I'm just gonna swap the two over. I am just showing you all kinds of content that's gonna be in the weekly reset on Monday. Uh, their clothes are everywhere. Like I said, we've been sick, so everything just kind of falls apart. It's insane how it does that. Um, it was going pretty well when it was just the kids, but once me and my husband got sick, you know, things just kind of get out of control. But like I said, that's why I love my weekly resets because I can get everything back to square one. Uh, so I will be going through their room again and picking up these clothes. Um, it looks like they shoved some clean clothes in the closet. So for now, I'm just going to swap the clothes over that are actually in the dressers. And then I will worry about um, putting all the clothes that are everywhere else where they belong for the reset, which I'll be filming after I upload this, so it will get done today. I hope all of that made sense. Anyway, I'm just switching the dressers now, and I really like how it turned out. It makes a lot more sense to have the two younger kids have the bigger dresser, and my oldest son to have the single one. I just need to put like divider or something in the younger's um, shirt drawer so that they don't mix those up, because they get really territorial over their shirts. For looking this rough. I'm still recovering today so I'm sorry that I look so terrible but I wanted to talk to y'all. Rip do you mind sitting your haunches down for a minute so I can talk? Apologies. Let me turn you this way. All right I thought I would share with y'all my Thanksgiving plans um, in this video. So I wanted to show you that I got really cute printable off of Pinterest. I love Pinterest. And, uh, hmm, let me get it out. Okay, so I got, like I said, I got the printable off of Pinterest. I can link it below if you'd like a copy of it. This is the menu that came with a schedule and housework. And yes, they're blank because I have not sat down and figured out all of that because as I was busy planning and, you know, just having a good old time, my house got hit with the flu and everything else. So, you know, life, sometimes life punches you in the gut pretty hard and you just got to roll with it. I'm going to turn you all around and show you um, the menu that I have so far and talk about stuff. I love talking about Thanksgiving, so. Okay, so like I said, we had the Thanksgiving menu and I went to my mom's house and we sat down together and we planned out what we were going to eat. So... We're hosting it, so we're um, my husband and I are gonna have the turkey and we're gonna cook that. And then for appetizers, I know this isn't really appetizers, but I didn't know where else to put these because there's we have a lot of sides. So basically, this is sides, <laughs> but we're gonna have rolls, um, green peas, cranberry sauce, and corn casserole. And these are the people who are going to bring it. I absolutely love having a list of who is responsible for bringing it. Um, so I really like this little sheet. And then. Uh, my sister is going to make dressing for the family and then I'm going to make my own gluten-free dressing and I'm going to share that with you guys so stay tuned for that. Then uh, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes. Do y'all do more than one potato thing? My dad would even like potato salad but my mom said no. She draws the line at two potato dishes. Um, shells and cheese uh, and green bean bundles. My sister makes these um, well, green bean bundles. They're, they're green beans in a little bundle with bacon wrapped around them and some seasoning. Let me know if y'all want to see how she makes those and I'll be sure and share that. And then for desserts, we're going to have, uh, my sister's going to make an Amish apple pie. I'm going to try to find a gluten-free, dairy-free pecan pie. And then um, some kind of cookies. I'm not really sure yet what kind, but we always have cookies. And then for drinks, we're going to have sweet tea and Sprite. And then we have 
some more people coming that were originally planned and I'm super excited that they are coming and they're also going to be bringing some drinks and a dessert. So I'm really, really pumped for this year because I've always prayed for big family gatherings and it's finally happening and I'm so excited. So anyway, over here is the shopping list. I won't read that all to you guys because that would bore you out of your mind, but I will go to the next page, which is the schedule. Um, like I mentioned, everything just kind of got shot down as we got sick. So I still need to sit down and figure out the Thanksgiving day schedule. My sister is actually going to come over and spend the night, um, the night before, so she can be here with me cooking that day. I am gonna try and cook some things beforehand. If you guys don't follow Terry K here on YouTube, I'll link her channel below. She has some really, really good videos about um, planning for the holidays with less stress. I really, really enjoy her channel. So I will link hers below and you can check it out. But she talks about how you can cook things beforehand to make your actual holiday less stressful. All right, and then the last page is Thanksgiving housework because you all know holidays mean you gotta clean. So I'm not gonna wait for the last minute to do this. Um, I'm probably gonna start doing this. I'm going to figure out what I would like to get clean and then I'll share it with you guys on Instagram or in my and in my YouTube community post. I'll tell you what, I'll share this in my Instagram and community post. So if you're not following me over there, um, I'll link that below as well. You can follow me and you can see when I fill these out, um, what all is on them. But I like it because it's got, you know, the cleaning, just like regular cleaning stuff. And then if there's specific things in the kitchen I need to do, and then um, decorating. I do plan on decorating a little bit. I'm not sure what yet because I did just decorate my house for Christmas. I mean, if you haven't watched that video, check it out. I really love it. And y'all are loving it too. And I'm so grateful y'all watched it. And then like the table, if I'm gonna do a tablescape for that. So I am gonna be thinking about that. And I just absolutely love the fact that I can write everything down because in my brain, I have all these ideas and it's like these wheels that are constantly going like this and I can't think straight. So um, things like this where it's broken down in manageable steps, I absolutely love. And like for the shopping list, I just went through each um, thing that I had to bring like shells and cheese, so I'm not get a box of shells and cheese. And then for the recipes, I have to have a special flour that's gluten free, so I wrote down, you know, the gluten free flour. And um, like it's in order, the ingredients are in order of the recipes, so it's gonna help my brain out a lot. Anyway, that is the gist of my Thanksgiving planning so far. So I will link this printable below so you can go print it out for yourself if you want. And I'm so excited to host Thanksgiving this year and I'm I'm pumped to share it with you guys. So I hope you're excited to see it too. And I just keep my little planner in my kitchen. Got some extra seeds there we didn't plant in my kitchen binder. And I went ahead and wrote down some recipes I found. Uh, a gluten-free, dairy-free pecan pie and a gluten-free, dairy-free bread to make the dressing with. So I'm gonna see if I can do that and it turns out good. And if it does, I will share it with you guys. But if it turns out gross, I'm not gonna waste your time with a nasty recipe. But I will definitely find a good gluten-free dressing because I miss it. I miss food like that so much. Mommy, I want to put this in there, okay? Mommy. What, the Kool-Aid? Yeah. I'm gonna pull it like this. For supper tonight, I decided to make this cornbread chicken casserole. I got the recipe from In the Kitchen with Mama Mel. I love her channel as well. If y'all need a good cooking channel to watch, definitely head her way. Anyway, so I'm throwing that together for supper and my son is begging me to make Kool-Aid at the same time and it's I'm getting overstimulated, but we're gonna get through this night together. Anyway, um, I'll link the video where she gives this recipe below. So if you want it, you can go over there and um, watch her make it. It is a family favorite in this house now. My husband requests me to make it at least once a week. So it is a winner in this family, y'all. You should definitely give it a try. Oh, and it's super easy too, so that's a plus. So this is 
is what it looks like all cooked. I forgot to get a video of it coming out of the oven, but this is my husband's lunch I packed for him. So he's got leftover cornbread chicken casserole, some animal cookies, and then uh, a bunch of like nuts, raisins, and little chocolate squares. So this will be hubby's lunch. I see everybody packing their kids lunch and I thought, hey, what's in my husband's lunch? There you go. And because I can't eat what I made everybody else for supper, I'm just eating some ground up hamburger meat with V8 juice on it for my supper and it is delicious. I did have some corn chips in here, but um, I ate most of those out. They're the best part. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Be grateful. Give grace. God bless.